check your moon sign and we have camping and astrological chart. All the information looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid and all of the booty products and services that I provide in the description box down below next to the butterfly. First portion of this reading will be for couples, those of you that have husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, fiancés, okay? The second portion of this reading will be for singles, okay? It will be timestamped in the description box. All right. How does Cancer feel about their significant other? All right, Cancer. Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles. Venus and Virgo, beautiful. You feel like this is a privileged relationship. Like, like you feel like your significant other is privileged, is born into money, has some kind of talent that, that makes them a lot of money. They're a business owner, an entrepreneur, okay? They are healthy, very healthy. With the Nine of Pentacles, this is also about um, being on vacation. You feel like your significant other is on vacation, okay? Very self-sufficient. This is also very uh, developed in self, okay? Independent, okay? This minor icon of the Empress. Miss Independent, that's why I love her, right? Nine of Pentacles is also um, talking about a sense of leadership. This person is a leader. Okay, they're involved in uh, maybe social justice, humanitarianism, okay? They give back, they give back. Now, in the palm of their hand, they are able to manifest uh, even a sense of uh, creativity from femininity. Virgo is a feminine sign, so a sense of uh, femininity as well as Venus. They love their job, and if they don't work for themselves and they work for a company or work for someone else, it's a very relaxed job. Like, no one's micromanaging them. They, they sort of, you know, manage themselves. They do what they feel like doing, what they feel like doing it. The Nine of Pentacles is also, you feel like your significant other does not have to work. They're very financially stable. They don't have to work. So, if they do work, it's because they want to work. Because it's fun. Not because they have to. Okay? All right, beautiful, beautiful energy. How does your significant other feel about you? How does cancer significant other feel about you? Cancer, how does cancer significant other feel about cancer? How does cancer significant other feel about cancer? Also, there was a sense of ruggedness about your significant other. Like, um, they dress very uniquely, very unique, very uh, humble, very grounded, very giving, very giving. Okay, they may work in the mind or with the body. They could work with the body. They could work with money. Okay, they could work with counting money. Um, they can help people build their self worth. That that may be their job. They may own a spiritual business. Okay, they own a spiritual business. It's run with a lot of morality. It's run with a lot of ethics. And it's very grounded uh, because they know their value. This is also they may be a lawyer. They may work in the legal field. I'm seeing a secretary. I'm seeing somebody type pause and like you're like drinking something maybe some coffee or something okay someone's also like you work as a doctor someone's like oh my god yeah someone's like a doctor and someone's a doctor that's cool or you're like a nurse or that's what you're studying to be or you're in school some of you are in school or you're a teacher okay. you could be a teacher or a counselor someone could be a psychologist even okay that's how you feel about your significant other all right, how does your significant other feel about you, Cancer? All right, nine of wands in reverse. Your significant other feels like you're releasing patterns, okay? You have let go of fighting. There's also a feeling of like... Um, Because I feel like what you're releasing is, if there's been um, conflict, you're releasing that. If there has been a feeling of, oh, I need, your significant other feels like if there was ever a need that we need to believe in the same thing psychologically and philosophically in order for them to feel safe, they are no longer doing that. 
you are no longer doing that. If that was something that you were doing, you are no longer doing that, Cancer. You're no longer um, feeling like we need to believe, right? It can even be ecclesiastical. This can be church. Okay, Sagittarius is church. When you go to church, what? This is the, this is the good book, right? I myself, when I go to, um, this is like a, a secret. I don't think I've ever told anybody this, but Cancer. I'm a sun in Cancer. Um, and the sun sign in in the 12 signs and then also a moon in Virgo and then 13 signs that become a Venus and a Mercury in Cancer but when I go to travel and I go to hotels and stuff I always bring back a Bible so I collect Bibles everywhere that I go this is um a releasing of I need your significant other feels like you release the need to feel like, oh, we believe in the same thing regarding maybe philosophy, religion, right? In order for me to feel safe. I'm no longer pushing you away. Cancer, they feel like you're no longer pushing them away. You're no longer trying to separate, right? No longer trying to run away from, I need you to feel and think the same way that I do, right? There's uh, the horns, right, on, on his head. It's, it's a, a representation of him. You no longer feel like you need someone to believe in the same thing that you do in order to feel safe. This is the theory of mind, which is based off of belief, desire, and knowledge, which is established when we are children. That everybody has wants and needs and that everybody's wants and needs are the same. So this is understanding that I can only understand myself, understand others, and understand the universe. Everyone has a different perspective and respecting that. They feel like you are respecting what they believe. Okay. This could be even if the way that the home is run, the way someone mothers, the way that someone mothers, the way that someone is a husband, right? Um, the way that someone is a husband. So you're no longer running away from the fear of wanting to be a husband. Okay. They feel like you're no longer running away from wanting to be committed, especially if you're um, a male. You're no longer running away from wanting to be committed or wanting to be a husband or wanting to step up. Jupiter, Jupiter rules a husband. You're no longer scared of that based off of how you were raised or what you saw growing up between your parents or with your mother or the dynamic with your mother. They feel like you're also releasing philosophical, psychological, and even religious beliefs that were connected to the way that you were mothered or the, the women you saw in your family. What makes you feel safe is people being open about their emotions. That's why cancer men specifically like to surround themselves around women. And um, it just makes them feel safe because men actually hide their emotions more than women, right? So usually that's why cancer men um do very well in dynamics of women rather it's in work or in, in feminine jobs they do very well because they like the fact that women are open about their emotions and cancer men understand that patriarchy is a problem in the universe it's a problem they understand that um they're the one sign honestly within the men that can do that the sun rising sun and cancer men um and moon and Pisces man. Yeah. Yeah. Because when they're around men and men are hiding their emotions or they're upset about something, the cancer man can feel it. It makes him uneasy that the person is not being completely honest. You know, men are just not, we're not raised in a society where you're supposed to be honest about your emotions. Okay. So that's why they thrive in the environments of a lot of women. Rather, it's their business could be made to help women or to help in the home or help um, heal, help heal it's emotional, even if it's emotional healing. Okay. How do you view your significant other? You your significant other is a three of cups, Cancer, Mercury. They're getting a promotion if they're in the military. They work really, really hard for it. I see you guys popping some bubbly, some roses, some whatevers, okay? You see them hanging out with friends or you guys are maybe planning a birthday party, right? It could be a housewarming with the three of cups. It could be even a celebration, a reunion, okay? It could just even be um, 
You view your significant other as they are socializing and networking. I'm hearing networking. Okay, they're networking. They feel very safe with the way that they're communicating and thinking. They feel very um, safe as well regarding their health right now. Okay? It looks like they are relaxing, chilling. This could be partying, hanging out with friends, or socializing. They're very social. I'm hearing social butterfly. Okay? Social butterfly. So you your significant other as a social butterfly. Beautiful. How does your significant other view you, Cancer? I'm hearing pressure by Ari Lennox. Keep your eyes on me. Eyes on me and play that pressure, right? Okay, how's your significant other view you? <laughs> Oof, the emperor. The emperor. Rah, 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 rah. Okay. The emperor, Aries, Scorpio, as well as Taurus energy. Beautiful. Okay. Your significant other views you as a boss, as a as someone who's older, okay, someone who's like, I am committed, I am the father, I, you know, I'm the man of the house, okay, or you are, you know, husband material, you are marriage material, okay, they feel like you are very 1414 on the dot, um, if you guys run spiritual businesses, it's run very ethically. Some of you guys also work in the same constitution, institution, foundation, church, service. Uh, this can be fraternity, sorority. Um, for a lot of you, this can even be like an actual church. Okay? But I'm also see, I'm also hearing a bank. Okay? It could be a bank. But also they feel like you may, uh, they view you as someone who sets the structure for the relationship right you you set a structure in, in this masculine and energy you step into it you say um because he he embodies all the signs emperor embodies all the signs just like the empress embodies all the signs okay so he could be any sign but with this energy um there's someone who they view you Cancer, as someone who is deeply committed to this relationship, you are on your P's and Q's. You got to pick up the kids. That's what you're going to do. You got to pamper your girlfriend or your wife. That's what exactly what you're going to do. You step up. You will not abandon it to anybody in their time. And you a friend or a lover, whatever. You are committed. You could be a police officer, a detective. You could be a business owner. I feel like you are a grandfather. Some of you are grandfathers. Congratulations. You might have another one on the way soon. Um, some of you guys could even work in esoteric occult, finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money. You could even work as an athlete, okay? Uh, you could work with athletes. I'm saying like um, fitness trainer or maybe you train people. Personal trainer, I'm hearing. Um, Aries is the body, similar to Virgo, okay? So it could even be a Virgo. Um, but you have that in your chart. Some of you guys work with health or with the mind, Okay. You're very relaxed, but you're in control, okay? This is someone who sets the structure for the relationship. They show that they're committed to the relationship. I'm all in, baby, is the emperor, okay? Um, this could be the father of your children, your husband, your boyfriend, your fiance. He's all in, okay? That's how you view your significant other, okay? Or how your significant other actually views you, Cancer. As someone who's deeply committed to this relationship, I can rely on you in times of need. Okay. okay, I like it. Okay, what are you hiding from your significant other? Some of you guys are writers, or you work with uh, cars, even. Okay, that was itching when I said that you work with cars, you design cars, or you make music. Okay, so you do music. Okay, what are you hiding from your significant other, Cancer? Okay, Seven of Wands, Leo and Mars. Okay. That some of you guys, because I always uh, see this card, someone that's like David and Goliath. A lot of you guys, what you're hiding is that you're actually allowing your boundaries to sort of, um, like, you know, not even boundaries, but sort of, uh, if you've been very um, defensive, this is something you are no longer doing. You're no longer pushing your partner away. 
okay you're no longer um fighting some of you guys have been um it's like you're no longer finding excuses to be upset all right you know fighting for something you don't even got nothing to stand on with what you're trying to fight for you're not doing that <laughs> okay it's like you're no longer pushing your partner away Okay, that's what you're hiding from your significant other. Some of you, what you were hiding from your significant other is that you would, you know, um, get upset about things that you didn't even have anything to really be upset about. Okay? Simply because it they made you feel small. Okay? They made you feel small. Okay, which I think was actually an internal thing, Leo. An internal thing, um, and it was also blocking your creativity okay and your sense of identity and your willingness to change basically a, a birth of the ego oh a birth of the ego i like it i like it what is your significant other hiding from you okay Will of Fortune and the world. Look at that. Two major arcanas. Oh my gosh. This is oh my gosh. Okay. They are hiding that they're getting a promotion child with the Will of Fortune. But they're also, this, this is a destined relationship. Um, they have good news with the Will of Fortune. This is also maybe even travel. They're traveling the world. <laughs> that they're ending a 30-year cycle or a 12-year cycle. Okay. Your significant other is also hiding uh, with the world. They think the whole wide world of you. You see this woman, how she's um, with the snake. She's wrapped around the world. Someone views you like this. Like you are just, um, you're the whole wide world. Your significant other views you like that. Um, maybe your significant other is hiding from you. Um, they could be traveling very far. They could live very far. They're traveling very far. They've um, successfully ended a cycle, and now they're willing to take a risk in love. That's what your significant other is hiding from you. Extremely good news that something is over in their life in order for them to begin anew with you. Yeah, ah, beautiful, Cancer, beautiful. Blockages in your relationship. Let's see. Okay. They could also be another nationality, like another, um, they could be... Studying abroad or um, teaching abroad, like teaching something or teaching languages or something like that in another place in the world. Worldly, world traveled. They could be well traveled. Your significant other could just be traveling. You may not know that they're traveling. That's what your significant other is hiding from. They're, just, they're traveling or they're getting a promotion. That's really, really good news. But they also ended some type of cycle, some long term cycle that they have been going through um, where they were fixated on. A particular vision a particular vision and realizing that that vision was too small so spirit had to take that vision away in order to give them something bigger and better to look at and to, to have hope in and to believe in essentially um yeah it's beautiful i was thinking about this today i was like um when i was um 18 you know fresh into college i said this is the way i'm gonna see my life i had a vision for it right and I thought that what made me successful was the fact that I could, you know, touch rim and I had this 36 inch vertical. Da, 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 da. And when I had this vision and it was taken away, right? Spirit said, you're thinking too small. You're sleeping on yourself. You, you're in a coma. Your vision was too small. I was thinking today, that used to be my vision of success. Touching, touching Ram, being able to do these things. You're only five foot, that's a big thing. You're really good at volleyball, blah, 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 blah. Jump out the gym, get the crowd wild. But I said, now look at what I'm doing. I'm touching the stars, baby. I'm touching angels and, and spirits of the light and souls and lives and hearts out there. And aliens. Just because that vision of what you believe was success, right? That doesn't come into fruition. It doesn't mean that you're not successful. It means that that vision was too small. It had to be taken away for a bigger vision. That's what it means. It's a bigger vision. I said, because I am successful, I'm doing things that I never believed that I would be able to do. I didn't even know it was possible. I was like, I was just going to be you know, a professional volleyball player. It was just going to be, you know, travel the world you 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 know 
have a biology degree you don't use you know you essentially that's just how you live your life you know that you settle down you have children da, 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 da. and now look at what i'm doing my path changed for all the right reasons if you're thinking too small right if you feel like oh something's not happening in my life the way i want it maybe your vision of success is too small think bigger think bigger than that i know you were just thinking think bigger than that cancer or cross watcher <laughs> all right boxes in your relationship i was thinking about that today though i said i am very successful it's just it was it's extraordinary when you look at your own evolution think of think of that think of your growth cancer all right so one of the blockages is in it for status all right you guys could be um very well known kicked out or being left okay so someone's getting kicked out or someone's uh being left behind or that's what's happened or that's what's going to happen and you got in their head and they hated it someone can't even sleep Someone's like you're in my head <laughs> you're in my head um it looks like the woman is kicking someone out okay or this is something that's happened um one of the blockages is that you just um they feel like you got in their head essentially they feel like you got in their head um could have been something you said okay or did or the way that they feel about you this is not something that's in your control they have to be in control of their own mind so there's something if it's if they're if they're like they're you're in their head it's like there's something that they need to look at within themselves right okay let's look at some of the blockages in the future for cancers in relationship okay queen of swords virgo libra aquarius gemini two of swords moon and libra okay blockage could be uh with the queen of swords this can actually be like um a person this could be a person okay the blockage could be that someone had dual loyalty with the two of swords moon and libra um they had dual loyalty to two people okay they had loyalty to you and then they had loyalty to another person and so they need to choose a person okay um this is also about seeing clearly see um one of the blockages is using more intellect in the relationship you are a water sign but this is about okay i'm going to communicate clearly i'm going to communicate with respect i'm going to communicate with intellect right um some of you this could even be like your ex-wife right or um that could be ex-girlfriend uh queen of swords this can also be just like a professional okay like one of the blockages could literally be um they're like someone has to have dual loyalty it could be like co-parenting okay it could be a like a friend someone could have a friend okay and that's one of the blockages it could also be one of the blockages is bitterness if somebody did have dual loyalty to two people and they chose you you're bitter about it you're well aware that they they their heart lied with you and another person and yeah they chose you but at the end of the day for them to even put you in that position so they they did not love you right okay also someone may need to unblock their heart chakra okay or someone if someone does have dual loyalty to two people and you're in a relationship they need to make a decision to choose you obviously um and if they did choose you, then you're bitter about it, even if they did choose you. So it's like they really couldn't have won, rather they decided not to choose you, you would have been upset. And even if they even if they have chosen you, you're upset because they put you in a place of competition. Which shows that they don't value you. What are your next actions, Cancer? The Three of Swords, Saturn and Libra. A lot of you guys, um, this is a third party situation. Some of you guys could be surgeons. Um, someone's going through a heartbreak, heart attack. This is a breakup. The next action, this is also um,
it's like um something's finally bloomed there's like a flower in their hand um i feel like this is something that has been happening internally for you. You've been feeling this. You see how they're so much bigger behind. So maybe this is a breakup. So maybe this is like a heartbreak. This is like talking about the fact that there's a third party. It's Saturn and Libra. So Capricorn, Libra energy. Um, the toxicity in the relationship was the fact that it's there's three people in the relationship. Which means that there's always going to be one person. You can't love two people. You just can't. You know, you can try. But one person will always receive less love than the other person. I feel like you're looking at this from a higher perspective at um, the heartbreak that you felt, okay, or you caused, all right? Okay. So, like, a lot of crying and sadness. It um, could be a heart attack. It could be a heart attack, okay? I don't want to scare you. I'm just being honest with you, okay? So, you could be well aware. Okay, what are your significant others' next actions? The truth, Ace of Swords, everything that has just been said this week reading was the truth. Your significant others' next actions is the Ace of Swords, the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. This could be, this is usually a long message or letter, a long conversation, okay? It's complete clarity, it's got a bow. So that means you're not standing right next to this person, it could be at a distance. Some of you um, may live in separate locations, Okay, your significant other's next action is giving you the whole truth. It's an intellectual conversation. Okay, but it is the truth. It is clarity. It is what you are seeking. Um, it is getting on the same page regarding being a husband or the idea of you know the relationship moving towards deeper commitment, essentially. Okay, Jupiter rules the husband, which is why you think of freedom, right? Most Sagittarius don't want to settle down. As far as um, I mean. There's a certain point in life where they don't want to settle down, right? They Then they get married very young. It doesn't work out. They end up um, never remarrying. Most Sagittarius is married, right? And then it doesn't work out. They divorce and they never get married. Again. That's usually Sagittarius energy. Um, but this is like the truth, right? About the freedom that you may have been seeking in a relationship, Um it's masculine energy, right? Like, uh, to settle down means I got to commit. I really got to show that sense of commitment. The future of, you have the world, Aquarius, Taurus, Steel, Scorpio, Capricorn. The future of your relationship, Cancer, is leaving it behind with no closure. Okay? There's also been like a um, repeating of uh, negative patterns, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, and Saturn. I see you may have also been seeing 3-3 three, three a lot. Some of you guys are business owners or you're dealing with a drop-dead gorgeous woman. This can also be your wife or the mother of your children. Um, it could be someone who works from home or they create out of nothing or someone's pregnant. Okay. Um, she embodies all the queens. With the Saturn of Pentacles, someone could be a school, Taurus and Saturn. Someone could work with money, the military, the government. Technology. Helping people with their self-worth, self-value. Children, esoteric occult, finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money. Um, someone's also in the public eye. The future of your relationship is realizing that you've invested a lot in it and leaving it behind with no closure because it's not transforming. So it's like you're looking now at what you want to invest or what you have invested in the relationship. Yeah, and the Nine of Wands came out. And then releasing the past patterns. Of the, you're releasing the past. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, learning something new. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You also love the way that your um, significant other looks. Future of your relationship is learning from this experience. Also, good financial news coming in. You could also be a student. Um, or getting a new job for some of you. Leaving it behind with no closure. I feel like what you're leaving behind is the patterns. It's almost like what was invested before was uh, chaotic. It was chaotic anyways. It was repeating negative patterns and now you're finally letting that go in order to learn something new in the relationship. Okay, let's also look at... Um, it's also spicing up the relationship for some of you. Okay, others of you could even be leaving behind a relationship. 
um, deciding to go after uh, new love offers. Others of you could just stay in the relationship and try to improve it, right? Try to bring some spice into it. Let's look at the advice for cancers and relationships. Okay. Awakening genius, Aquarius energy, also Libra energy, also Moon and um, Virgo. Okay. But this is getting exactly what you want because it's exactly what you deserve. The advice is to look at this with a lot of intellectual proficiency and also realize that your uniqueness and your partner's uniqueness is why this relationship even began, right? That what you give is what you get back. Seven of Cups, your advice, daydreaming. Healing. Some of you guys go to marriage counseling or, or therapy together. Some of you guys need to go to therapy together. You may be going to a psychologist, an astrologer. You could be going to a doctor, a teacher, a counselor. Uh, because there's been a lot of daydreaming. Someone could be fantasizing about other people in the relationship with the Seven of Cups. Or they have other options or they're just, they're very confused. I also saw that someone is fantasizing about other people outside of the relationship or watching other people online and fantasizing about them this could be like watching a lot of porn or just watching other people that they may know on social media that they're really interested in and that gets them aroused um they would have a moon in taurus moon in libra moon in scorpio moon in aries or they'd have a cancer in their mars cancer in their pluto or cancer in their venus okay all right um yeah, see a professional as well. Um, if you are going to like go to therapy or something like that, um, I'm also seeing like think of things logically. Make sure that you use intellect. Okay, use intellect. Think of the facts. Think of the facts. And look for a solution. Don't look for a problem. Okay. All right. This is for the singles. Who's coming towards the singles in their love life? Oh, the lovers is a Gemini. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Ah, oh, they are intertwined together. The person who's coming towards you is someone who may do something similar to you. Okay, whatever profession you do, they do as well. You guys are gonna own a business together. Okay, if you don't already work together. This is also someone who you will end up, you know, marrying, and when one of you passes away, the other person will not remarry. Okay, this is a love that's being watched over from above. Wow, the lovers. This is also someone who's saying, I want you. I want you, Cancer. They know that they that there's other um, options, whatever, but they want you. The feelings are mutual. Okay. Some of you are Virgos or Tauruses, I'm also seeing. Someone sees you. Someone sees you. Some of you could also be Aquariuses. Somebody sees you. Okay, you made it out of the dark night of the soul. But this is real love. Oh my gosh, this is Major Arcana. This is not little. This is like, this is someone that you will be intimate with. Okay, sexual with. You will end up uh, making love to this person. Um, the love is like on every level, physical, sexual, mental, spiritual. Okay. How will you be seen by others in your love life, Cancer? All right. Okay. That's very logical. You're coming out as the king of swords. Okay. Ooh. You got cards falling out. Whoa. Knight of Cups. Seven of Cups. Okay. Whoa, and you got Emperor at the bottom of the deck, Aries, Scorpio, or Taurus. Okay, you will be seen by other people as someone who, King of Swords, Capricorn, Aquarius, Super Gemini. Um, also, Seven of Cups is in a verse, Venus and Scorpio, Knight of Cups, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Hidden Energy was the Emperor, Aries, Scorpio, um, and Taurus. You're being seen as someone who is receiving a love offer or a proposal from somebody who's very independent with the King of Swords, but is also, uh, they've been through a lot. And this is someone who is vocalizing to you their feelings, okay? This is someone who you would know that they don't typically do that. They may like, 
be like uh, they always have a plan they plan this out they don't see other options they see you they're not interested in other people they're romantically interested in you cancer and they're looking for a relationship King of Pentacles is an Earth sign. Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Cups, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Listen, the way you're being seen in your love life is that a lot of people are in love with you with the Queen of Cups. And that there are people offering you, right? These people could start off as friends. Page of Pentacles, right? Like asking, how's your day? How's things going? Da, da, da. And then commitment. King of Pentacles. Uh, these they work with money or finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money, nature, the body, the human body could be a doctor, um, could be someone in middle management or a manager, could be a lawyer, doctor, teacher, someone who has a really good reputation because they deserve it. They tell you, they tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And this person is proposing a love offer because they want real commitment with you. This could also be the father of your child, or it could even be um, someone who's older than you, much older than you. But they are giving you a love offer. So you're being seen by other people as um, receiving a love offer for the feminine energy. But also, you're also seen as someone who's drama free and you have the best intentions at heart. Um, some of you guys could be psychic with the Queen of Cups or you could just be very, ooh, you could be very um, loving. Okay, wow, Page of Swords and High Priestess just flew out on me. Someone's spying on you. <laughs> Higher Priestess is Moon and Virgo. Uh, Page of Swords is Aquarius, Super Gemini. You're seen by the. I myself have a Moon and Virgo, and I'm a Sun and Cancer. And then that's in the 12 signs. 13 signs, I become a Mercury and Venus in Cancer. Um, but the High Priestess, you're seen by the people as a woman that they feel that they cannot have. Someone who preserves their body for the right relationship. A lot of you are not having sex, okay, until you're actually in a real relationship. Because when you do spiritual work, this is someone who could be like a tarot card reader, psychic, medium, seer. Uh, many people don't know that if you want an accurate, a 100% accurate tarot reading, you go to a cancer. Cancers are the psychics. So they are the most accurate of the zodiac sign when it comes to, okay, what type of psychic, like what sign should I be looking for my psychic to be, be a cancer? Because they rule the moon. Uh, they are the psychics of the zodiac signs as well. That's what they rule mystically. Um, you're seen in your love life as someone who doesn't like drama. You'll actually change your mood rather than deal with drama or whatever because you don't feel like offending other people. And you also don't feel like um, dealing with that type of energy. You're also seen as someone who's catered to, younger, um, a younger woman, quiet. You keep a lot to yourself, but also someone that you're learning new ways to communicate in love. Um, you're also seen as someone who, like people are spying on you. They're spying on you. They're uh, messaging you. I feel like people are wanting to message you. They're watching you a lot, though. Maybe talking about you as well. Good things, good things. Okay, you're seen by other people as um, very attractive. Very mysterious, okay. Um, very spiritual as well. Some of you guys can even be spiritual teachers, or um, it's like you want a spiritual connection. Okay, you're well aware to keep proper boundaries so that you don't um, get into any toxic or negative uh, situations. Okay, how you be feeling about your love life, Cancer? The hangman, Pisces. A lot of you um, aren't like sexually active right now it's on oh knight of cups it's almost like you're just chilling here <laughs> pisces sagittarius and then boom in comes a love offer that king of swords this person's an air sign capricorn aquarius super gemini they're an aquarius cancer pisces scorpio but um in your love life the way you're gonna be feeling about it is that you're that there's a love offer coming in almost like you didn't entertain 50 million different people because you don't feel like that's worth your time. And then, boom, you actually get a real love offer from somebody who could have always seemed a bit cold. But they're doing this in public. This is on social media as well. Someone's doing this on social media with the Six of Wands. They want other people to see this. It's almost like a um, showing that like they are taking things to the next level with you because you're very well known and famous you're going to be feeling like this you're going to be feeling victorious you're going to be feeling absolutely amazing about 
your relationship or where a connection could be heading because someone's gonna be showing you emotion in public like on your your profile or something like in social media with people to see six of wands is like people are gonna see it and be like oh my gosh like this is really good news they're gonna be happy for you okay this is also um because you're aligned because you're connecting to someone who believes in what you believe in philosophically psychologically and spiritually someone's very honest you're happy that someone is very honest with you. They're also like um, someone who, like, um, they plan this out. You'll be feeling victorious in your love life if you're making a proposal to somebody, right? Because you planned it out. Because you planned it out, it's successful. Because you planned it out, it's successful. It's in public. Like, someone planned this out. And it's, like, really romantic and stuff. Wow. Okay. So, okay, cool. King of Swords can be a lawyer, doctor, teacher, counselor, can work with uh, technology. Okay, so you work with fraternities, sororities, I'm seeing computers, okay? Um, some of you even work with the legal system. Um, esoteric occult, finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money, or homes, realty, even, okay? Home decorator, I just heard, or a musician. Okay, blockages in your love life, Cancer. Blockages in your love life. Three of Cups, Two of Wands. Okay, um, distance, Two of Wands, Aries, Scorpio. Someone could be far away, or you guys are seeing each other online. Three of Cups, Cancer, and Mercury. The blockage is also, um, right now, it's like you guys are sort of in the dating stage, and there's been planning Two of Wands. There could be planning of travel soon. Okay, um, The blockage is also like spending time with somebody. This person could also be a friend. So for it to be taken to another level, it would be like um, spending time together. There needs to be more um, like communication. Some of you will also um, be making a decision, right? So if you've been single, you've been dating or whatever, like you're now making a decision. The blockage is you, you're actually choosing a lover. You're choosing a lover. You're choosing a person that you actually want a real commitment and relationship with. Okay. Let's see. How can you improve your love life, Cancer? All right. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, my goodness. Aquarius, Taurus, Seal, Scorpio, Sagittarius. That's beautiful. Um, the number 10. Um, a lot of you, the way that you can improve your love life is by taking the risk. You know, the Wheel of Fortune, if you don't turn the wheel, it's not going to move. Um, this is also um, travel. A lot of communication. Um, some of you guys are also getting a promotion. But to improve your love life, this is about taking the risk. Right? Knowing that destiny is going to give you exactly what it is that you truly need and deserve. Taking the risk. Um, so a lot of you want a spiritual connection as well. You want it to have like um, a spiritual connection. Um, emotional, mental, physical Um The way you can improve your love life is also by having a belief system about what abundance actually does look like to you. And taking that risk, you know from experience what that looks like to you, right? Some of you will be traveling, uh, expanding, which you believe in religiously or spiritually, psychologically, philosophically, ecclesiastically, okay? Yeah, the full, a lot of you guys could also be graduating or um, also like traveling somewhere you've never been before. Okay. All right. Also like getting to know yourself. I feel like you guys are really getting to know yourselves and also um, getting to know others or getting to know someone. That's for some of you. To improve your love life, this is about having a fresh start, right? Doing something you've never done before in love is what it is required for your love life to improve. Do something you've never done before. What's hidden from you in your love life, Cancer? Okay, the will of fortune. Oh my gosh, I can't make this up. What's hidden from you is the risk. What happens when I turn this wheel? Victory. Jupiter and Leo, that's your answer. <laughs> what happens when I turn the wheel? What happens when I make a risk? What happens? What happens? What happens? Right? Even if it's just like, okay, what happens if you decide to connect to somebody? 
and take time to get to know that person and put energy into them and develop feelings for them. That's a risk, right? It leads you to victory. You guys will be uh, be seen in public together. So rather you're posting on social media together or um, there's a lot of like flirtation and connection on social media. Like you, like people would see this person flirting with you or you flirting with them with the six of wands and it's a victory. It's public. This is public. Um, wow, what's hidden from me is you're about to have a victory. You're about to have a freaking victory because of destined, like this was destined. Because you took a risk to do something you've never done in love before. This is also fame with the six of wands. A lot of you guys also just work in the entertainment industry. What's hidden from you is someone is going to be communicating or like, um, it's almost like sort of claiming you, but it's on social media. Like they're showing people, I know cancer, I'm talking, to, me and cancer are dating sort of. Like that's what's going on here. That's what's happening. The will of fortune. It's a risk. Oh my gosh, it's a risk, but it pays off so well. Oh my god, it's the six of wands. It's a victory. This person is like wanting to get your attention. They want your attention really bad. The uh, masculine energy will really like uh, put it all out there. Put it all out there. Okay, future development. They're nervous to do this as well. They're nervous, okay? The future of your love life, the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn is a brand new solid opportunity. And knowing that it's in this treasure chest, you have no idea what's inside the treasure chest until you freaking open the treasure chest, all right? The treasure chest, you gotta open it up. Um, the future of your love life is you're gonna receive an offer. You could even receive a gift, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles, this is also, um, the beginning of something new that can lead to long-term stability with another individual. Okay, whoever it could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, but it's a new opportunity. It's solid. Um, yeah. Another text message. Um, the risk is okay when you find you know x marks the spot x marks the freaking spot when you find it right when you find the x and you dig it up and then you take out the treasure chest you still have to open it you have no idea what's inside of it right well what's inside of this one is abundance what's inside of <laughs> um uh what's what's in this box is abundance okay Um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's like, um, you've been waiting for this and it's finally here. Congratulations, cancer. <laughs> I don't think it looks the way you thought it was. Maybe it wasn't the person you thought it was or the, the way it just didn't turn out the way you thought it did, but it still manifested. It like love manifested in your life. You know, um, you loved again. You decided to love again. A lot of you are uh, talking to someone new. Okay. Okay. Whew, wait, child. The next <laughs> next actions of, in your love life that cancer will be taking. Okay. The, the Knight of Pentacles. Leo, you know, someone else had that uh, yesterday. I think it was Scorpio. I'm in their love reading. Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius. But I think it was for the couples. Okay. But uh, Knight of Pentacles. Um... The future of your love life is somebody extremely solid. Someone who you could take home to your mother. Nine of Pentacles is extremely reliable. Oh, and it's the magician. It could be a Gemini, an Aries, a Virgo, a Scorpio. This person is saying that they miss you. Someone is saying, I miss you. They're like, I miss you. And they match everything that you want in a partner. They just get you. They're communicating a lot. They're really funny with the magician and with the Knight of Pentacles. They're very reliable and dependable. Person could work with money, okay, or the human body. Uh, spotlight. They could be in the spotlight. Something about a necklace here. They have a nice chest, okay. His chest area is all out, like, ah, right? Um, this person, uh, Leo Virgo Taurus Capricorn, could work in nature. Could be a gardener, right? Like your gardener comes and he has on like his uh, his tank top. He takes off tank tops all hot. Could be a gardener. Um, could be someone in the military or the government. Okay. 
Um, it's a solid offer. They, they just, they plan every single thing out. And then with the magician, they communicate and execute, and it's successful. Successful. They miss you a lot. I feel like this person is realizing they like you in their life, okay? Um, the future of your love life is also you manifested this. You took action to actually manifest this into your physical reality simply by um, realizing your value and your worth, right? Having your mind. When you have your mind, you can do anything. All right, next actions. Next actions, oops. next actions is the Ace of Swords, Aquarius Super Gemini, a very long text message, a very long conversation with somebody, Aquarius Super Gemini, whoever you believe in, I don't care if you believe in a purple man in the sky, Buddhism, Catholicism, Muslim, whatever you believe in, you're going to get a direct message from spirit that confirms everything that you're thinking, the Ace of Swords is the whole truth and nothing but the truth, but in the, um, your next actions is telling the truth in your love life, and that's the truth with justice, Libra. You're getting exactly what you want because it's exactly what you deserve. Your next actions is also to treat people how you wish to be treated. You have a lot of intellectual proficiency, Cancer. I'm super proud of you. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, uh, you're also going to be talking to somebody. Okay, this person is someone that you're just now starting to talk to with the Clover. It's l very lucky and they're very intelligent. You guys match up with the mind. Ace of Swords is intellectual connection. Okay, it's air. And it's exactly what you deserve, okay? It's exactly what you actually want, okay? Um, also, something legal goes into your favor. Your next actions could also be to get a divorce or a divorce goes in your favor. Some of you, your next actions is actually getting into a relationship with justice and advice for cancer regarding their love. Like, this is good karma coming your way. Uh, telling the truth, you're just telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth, Okay? What is this? The advice for kids? Wow. Ten of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo. They could have a moon in Gemini, moon in Virgo. Or they have Cancer in their Mercury. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Um, Virgo and Mercury. Your advice, um, and this is also... The Ten of Pentacles, this is also falling in love with um, a family friend, like someone who could know your family. Or you guys could know each other's families or if they're new it's like uh they have a very comforting family um this is also like if you know you'll be welcome into the family the ten of pentacles is also somebody who wants long-term stability relationship commitment and connection where is the deck that i was about to use for you guys oh, i see it um ten of pentacles is also a large one fall of money okay your advice, though, if you own a business, it's going to feed your children's children. It's going to feed legacies. Your children could end up taking up after whatever business you now have. You also come from money. You're born from money. Okay? You're getting a, a house or a car. You're getting a lot of money in. Like, this is a lot of money. Your business is booming. Lots of clients, okay? Uh, your, your health is extremely uh, healthy. <laughs> like, you're really in good health. But on um, the advice... What is the advice for cancer, please? For Ten of Pentacles? Ha ha ha, waking the lion, my favorite animal. Leo energy, you could be dealing with a Leo. 19, the sun, this is love at first sight. Um, see this, embrace this, be confident about this with the number 19. Um, take the risk as well to embrace this, to embrace um, the confidence that you're also feeling with this self-love. Wow, some of you will be traveling or having a boy child if you haven't already. You have a boy toddler child. I see a small child that's a boy. Um, like I see him in my head. Some of you are in theater, entertainment industry, acting, dancing, singing, rapping, whatever it is. But your advice is to embrace the sun. Embrace this joy. Embrace the now as well. Um, this is romance. This is bliss. You guys are coming together with someone that's going to be very long term. Ten of Pentacles is marriage commitment, okay? Um, be confident about this because it's actually coming in much quicker than you think. This has been your reading, Cancer. All the services and food products I provide in the description box down below. Ashay.